Today I'm declaring a drought emergency in the state of California. At some point we have to learn to get on nature's side and, and not um, uh, abuse uh, the resources that we have. And, and that's the point of, of the declaration. In the summer of 2014, as millions of viewers looked on, the CBS Big Brother show stayed true to its reputation for creating simulated rainstorms during house guest competitions. It did so for at least three of them. And we're not talking about a light mist, mind you. We're talking a torrential downpour that went on and on for an extended period of time. Each rainstorm was worthy of the wet season in some tropical locale. Only thing is, the Big Brother house, located on Gunsmoke Avenue in Los Angeles, California, is hardly in a tropical locale. In fact, according to the U.S. Drought Monitor, it's smack dab in the heart of this nation's drought-stricken region, at the highest level of intensity where the unforgiving scarcity of water is at its worst. With that as a backdrop, one might reasonably ask, where did all the water for the simulated rainstorm come from? California is living through some of its driest years in a century. Uh, right now, almost 99% of California is drier than normal. California is our biggest economy. California is our biggest agricultural producer. So what happens here matters to every working American, right down to the cost of food, that you put on your table. It would appear everyone in this region of the country is in dire distress except for CBS. Has the sky immediately above the Big Brother house been specially anointed to become darkened by clouds brimming with water whenever a director wants it? If so, then that's quite a demonstration of corporate clout. Google seems to agree. After submitting the query, where does CBS Big Brother get water for rain, the organic results appeared as follows. The first ranking item was an update about the Big Brother 16 current challenge in progress. As you can see, it states, raining is pouring and lots of tilting, but all looks strong. The second result, and this is the actual result that popped up, was Governor Jerry Brown's admonition to conserve water. In the end, it leaves the more conscientious among us to assume one of two things is going on. Either CBS and the producers of the Big Brother show are withholding valuable information about an irrepressible source of water, or they are displaying a cheerful indifference to this sizable and wholly stubborn public crisis. One way or the other, it begs the question, where was all that water coming from? Here's to hoping that CBS really does care in the next season of Big Brother. We're going to have to all work together in the years to come to make sure that uh, we address the challenge and leave this incredible land uh, and bounty to our children and our grandchildren uh, in at least as good shape as we found it.